I'm Kimberly Jolly with the Fat Quarter Shop and Sherry McConnell is visiting our studio and today she's going to show us how to make a beginner placemat out of churn packs. So what do we need to make four placemats? So I, the, I love this pattern because you can make all four placemats with just one charm pack, a quarter yard if you want to make all of your accent colors match, and then half a yard for the binding if you're going to do them all the same, and three quarters of a yard for the backings. And that will be everything you need for all four. And the fun thing about this is it's very scrappy. You know, you can change and you can be really flexible. You can take make different accents, different bindings, different backings, and so essentially a lot of people can just make this from their scrap pile, I bet. Right, definitely. So let's move on to the first step. Okay, we're ready to start the placemats. Begin by choosing nine different charm squares. We're going to use five of them for the one patch sections, and we're going to use the other four for the four patch segments. So for your the five charm squares, that you have, we're gonna subcut these down to a four and a half inch square. And I like to stack, you know, about five at a time. And I'm just gonna use a simple Creative Grids four and a half inch square ruler and just trim these down. You can also use any ruler you have at home. I prefer to use square rulers. And on our next step, Sherry is gonna show us what we do with the remaining four charm squares. Okay, after you've trimmed your one patch squares, you're going to take the remaining four charm squares and put them into two contrasting sets so that we have a light and a dark in each pair. And now I'm going to show you how to make the four patch units that we will need for the placemats. You're going to take two of your contrasting prints and you're going to put them right sides together and you're going to pin and then we are going to sew one quarter of an inch from the two opposite edges. So we'll be sewing a quarter of an inch on each of these sides. We'd normally use a light colored thread on this, but we did use a dark thread just so that you could see where the stitching marks are. After we are at this point, we're going to cut this unit in half and we're going to line up the two and a half inch ruler with the edge of the charm pack unit. And we're going to cut. So we're cutting parallel to your stitch lines. Parallel to the stitch lines, yes. Okay. And this will be two and a half, and this will be two and a half. Right. So we've got two matching units, and we're going to press those seams to the dark fabric. And so now we have a unit like this, two units. And it looks like this, pressed to the dark, and now what do we do next? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is basically repeat that last step. But this time we're going to nest those seams. And since they're both pressed to the dark, we'll be able to butt those seams up right next to each other, and you'll be able to feel it, that they're right next to each other. And you want it to be really smooth. And we're going to pin again and we're actually going to stitch again, just like we did before. Along both sides, a quarter of an inch from each side. Okay, so we're going to sew again. Okay, so we sewed again, and again we use the dark contrasting thread to make it easier for you to see. And we're going to repeat that same step. We're going to cut our unit in half. We're going to use the two and a half inch ruler again and make that cut. And we're going to have two four patch units, but we're not quite ready yet. There's one little trick I'm going to show you to make your four patch unit lay really flat. Okay, we're going to spin this seam, and to do that, we're going to pick out a couple of stitches that are above our line, above our horizontal line. We're going to pick out these two vertical stitches that, at the top. We're just going to use a seam ripper and make sure that they're pulled out. We're going to flip the unit over and do the same thing on the other side. So we'll be picking out only the stitches in the vertical seam that are above 
in that quarter inch seam allowance. So we're going to pick out those two stitches. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, depending on your stitch length. Now once we get those picked out, when we open the four patch, we will be able to open that seam. And you can see a little tiny four patch there in the center that has the same fabrics that are on the other side. And we'll press this seam up and this seam down and the center of your block will be very, very flat. Okay, so we've unpicked those little stitches that I showed you and I'm just gonna show you quickly how to press it again. We're gonna kind of finger press it first and then we're just gonna set the iron and flatten that out nicely. And I like to come back to the front side and make sure I don't have any puckers. And um, I think you'll be able to tell a real difference. You'll be able to see that, that the center of that four patch is really flat. The assembly of the four patches was super easy and quick, so we're moving right along. How do we lay out the placemat? Okay, it's simple. You're just going to alternate the one patch blocks with the four patch blocks so that the one patch blocks are in the four corners and in the center. We're essentially making a nine patch unit here. And do we need to be paying attention to the direction of the light and the darks in the four patch? I actually did. I put them um, on the center units. I put them going the opposite ways and the same thing with the top and bottom. I put them going the opposite ways. Okay, and how do we sew these together? So, okay, so we're just gonna sew quarter inch seam allowance and we're gonna sew these two together and these two together, and these two together. And then we're gonna add the third unit to each row. And once we have the rows, we will press the seams toward the one patch blocks. Okay. That'll, that'll make it easy for it to lay flat. To lay flat. Yeah, and then when we get the rows together, we're gonna to sew each row together. And again, I'm gonna press the seams out because, because there will be two one patch blocks on those no. sections. So you'll press away from the center on both. Right. Okay, we'll be right back to add the borders. Okay, we have our placemat center sewn together and then we're just gonna add the, the side borders. Each one measures two and a half inches by 12 and a half inches and you can have them match, you can make them scrappy, you can use old jelly roll strips, whatever you want to do to to get that piece, but we've made ours matching today and we're just going to sew them to each side with a quarter inch seam. After you sew these sides borders on, your placemat will measure 12 and a half inches tall and 16 and a half inches wide. Okay, it's time to finish up these placemats. We've sewn the border sections to the side and now it's time to make a quilt sandwich with the placemat top, the batting or fusible fleece. We're using fusible fleece today and the backing fabric. And we've put the, the fusible side next to the backing so that when we iron it, there won't be any chance of it getting on our iron and it will just fuse to the backing. And this is a thick enough batting to where you won't need to use pins. It's just gonna lay flat for when you go to your machine. Right. And one other thing to point out is that I've left about an inch and a half to two inches on all sides so that I don't run into any trouble when I'm quilting. We quilted the finished ones. We did a, a, a wavy stitch. You can do an all over pattern. You can do straight line quilting. You can do a stipple. The, really, the possibilities are endless. And this is a great project. I get a lot of quilters who want to do free motion and they want to try something out. And this is a great project because it's small enough for the throat of your machine to just really try out those designs. Right, I, I really started practicing my quilting on small projects, so. And when you're done, what size binding did you use? I used a two and a quarter inch binding and that just seemed to be a nice size for the placemats. And, and we've got a binding link below if you need help with your binding so that will help you out. Thank you so much for sharing your placemats. Thank you, it was really fun. So these beginner charm pack placemats are a great beginner project and we hope that you all try them out. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe to the Fat Core Shop YouTube channel and also look for all of Sherry McConnell's other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.